Okay, so here's the uh, Peter controller code running on an Uno. And uh, this board with the LEDs is my little um, interface um, simulator. Uh, the green LED uh, right here uh, indicates the uh, push to talk line or, or the line that'll key the transmitter. The uh, amber LED there is the carrier detect line. And uh, for the carrier detect, we're using the switch right here. And we press that switch and we make our signal go low. That'll simulate the carrier operated relay line or the carrier detect line going low. We're assuming going low logic means the carrier is detected. Um, the uh, little red LED next to this one right there um, is the timeout indicator. Uh, we don't want the transmitter to stay on too long, uh, you know, so you can set it to, uh, you know, the timeout in a, in a certain amount of time. Um, right now, we're going to have the, uh, the timeout condition uh, set to five seconds, just so it's easy to see here in our demonstration. Um, the yellow LED is our hang, hang time uh, indicator right here. So after the carrier drops, we don't want the transmitter to drop immediately because we don't want it going up and down, up and down if you know people come back immediately. So we can set the hang time for a certain amount of uh, seconds. Um, uh, here in the, the example code, the hang time is three seconds. And then this red flashing LED right here is just a heartbeat. It shows that our controller is um, uh, going through the loop because, uh, you know, in RF um, environments and stuff like that, it can make uh, microcontrollers lock up and stuff. So if, if it's not shielded well or what have you, so that just lets us know everything's running. So if I press the button here, indicating that we have a carrier from our receiver, you see the carrier, the amber LED goes on, and our PTT line, the green line, goes on. So if I let go, the carrier go goes out, and the green stays on until our timeout condition occurs, which, uh, I mean, our hang time condition occurs, which is, you know, set it, what, what did I say, three seconds? Yeah, three seconds. So now if we hold the carrier down um, for our you know, timeout period, which is five seconds. Now, normally, you'd probably set it to like a minute and a half, up to three minutes, I would guess. Um, but for now, we're going to do it for five seconds. So you you see the, the carrier detect light, the PTT light. And now, after five seconds, the timeout indicator will come on. And the PTT goes off. Now, you can see I can keep turning the carrier detect on and off. Uh, because it's still detected during the timeout period, but the timeout period forces the transmitter to go off for a certain amount of time. Um, right now, I just have it set to turn off for uh, five seconds, but normally you'd shut it down to give the uh, finals a few moments to um, um, cool off. So there it is. Uh, let me know what you think.